Hi guys, Jess again, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title and thumbnail of today's video, I'll be showing you guys my how to edit video. I'll also be showing you guys how I do my iPhone, Apple Watch, and MacBook overlays because I feel like that's something a lot of people do but don't necessarily show. So I'll be showing you guys during this video how to do it. So without further ado, let's just start this video. The first section I want to talk to you guys about is the equipment I use. To edit my videos, I use my MacBook Air. I got it a few years ago and I've been using it to edit my videos ever since I started YouTube. Next is the camera that I use. I use the Canon EOS Rebel SL2, which is a DSLR camera. It's a bit big and bulky for vlogging, but is great for sit-down videos. Lastly, I use the Amazon Basic 60-inch lightweight tripod. It's very inexpensive, but I've had no problems ever since I got it a year ago and it works really well. The next part of this video is going to be importing footage. First, I start with putting my SD card into my computer. From then, you should see Untitled pop up on your screen and then you just click on the first file, the first file again, and then you can see all the clips that you have in your SD card. I just grab them all and put them on my desktop. From there, as you guys can see, I'm just grabbing them and putting them in my YouTube file. And then I close my SD card and then I eject it to remove it. Next, I'm going to click on my YouTube file to open it. And as you guys can see in here, I have six files as well as my video clips. I have end screens, green screens, music, overlays, sound effects, as well as video footage. I then grab all of my video clips and put them in video footage. That way it keeps everything nice and tidy and everything's in one spot. After that, I open up iMovie and in case this is your first time ever using iMovie, to start a new video, you just click on create new, then on movie and it opens up your new movie or video. Once there, you want to click on import media and then find the file in which you have your video files in and import the clips you need. And then you just grab the clip and drag it into your timeline. The video I'm editing is just a random vlog of my morning when I went to get the new game that was just released, so... Um, yeah. The next thing to do are the rough cuts. There are two ways to split a clip. Either right click and then click on split clip, or use a keyboard shortcut, which is command B. This will allow you to isolate a clip, and then you can just delete it, and you remove the part you don't want in your video. Really quick, I just want to share with you guys some useful keyboard shortcuts. Command B split the clip like I mentioned earlier. Command Z undoes a mistake you made, like if you deleted a clip on accident or if you split a clip on accident as well. Command C copies the selected frames. Command V will paste. Command plus A select all of your clips at once. And then the delete key does just that. It deletes the clip you selected. Next, I'll show you guys how to do Ken Burns and Crop to Fill. First, I isolate a clip that I want to use. Then, I click on this little box up here. From there, you can see me select Crop to Fill as that's what I want to do with the clip. I then size it to however I want and this is the result. Next, I isolate another clip and click on the box at the top again this time, I'll be clicking on Ken Burns. For Ken Burns, you can play with start and end and choose where it's going to start and end by moving either boxes like so. This is the result of the Ken Burn I made. For video borders, I first start with importing different images I might want to use for my borders. From there, I drag the image I want to use into my timeline. I then grab the clip I want to use and drag it on top of the image I will use as a border. I will then click on the two boxes at the top right here and select picture in picture. You'll then notice your clip has gotten smaller, but you can make it bigger again by using the dots on the corners like so. And then you can move it however you want. Now notice here I forgot to take off dissolve, so that's what I'll be doing as I don't want the video to dissolve. 
Another thing I had forgotten to do is make the border fit. As iMovie does this thing where it automatically makes it a Ken burn, which is annoying because you always have to put it in fit. But somehow I managed to forget during this video and only noticed after. Basically, don't be like me and forget while filming a how to edit video. To do green screens, first, you're gonna wanna search up what kind of green screen you want. I typed in loading gr screen green screen. From there, you'll wanna choose which one you want. This is the one I picked. You click on it and then you copy the URL. After that, you'll want to open another page and type in YouTube to MP3. This will bring you to this page and then you can just paste the link you copied and make sure it's on MP4 and then convert it and download it. You'll then want to import it into your video and drag it onto your timeline, wherever you want to put the green screen, and adjust it to your desire. You'll then want to click on the two boxes again, go on cutaway, and click on green slash blue screen, and this will make the green background disappear like so. And there you go you have a green screen. To add text, I actually do it on my phone. The app I'm using is called Fonto. So first, I want to open Fonto, click on the little camera at the bottom, and click on plain images. Then you click on the white square, and you'll see at the top the dimensions. You want to click on that, and then you choose custom, and put in 16 by 9. Then, you'll click on color at the bottom and pick a green color and then use it. From there, you just type in your text and you have a variety of fonts to choose from by clicking here. You can also download some. Then you just put it wherever you want the text to go. After you're done, at the bottom of the screen, you can see these three buttons. You're going to press on this one, which will then show you this. From there, you just airdrop it to your MacBook. After that, you just import the image on your project and place it where you want it to go. Change Ken Burns to fit and then do exactly like when you put in a green screen overlay. You click on the boxes and then you click on green slash blue screen and there you go. You can now have aesthetic text in your videos. To make transitions, you're going to want to click on transitions at the top right here. As you can see, you have a ton to choose from. You just grab one you like and drag it on in between the clips you want. To make the transitions faster, just double click on it and type in 0.2 which is the fastest option. To add a sound effect to the transition, you can go up to audio here then click on sound effects and there are plenty to choose from that iMovie has. What I do is download my favorite ones and put them in my sound effects folder you guys saw in the beginning so that it goes by faster while editing and I don't have to find them. Then. All you have to do is drag it where you want it, and to make it more precise, you can click on this arrow. This will help you position the sound effect with a lot more precision. It's also useful when you need to make precise cuts. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to make PNGs. Since I was talking about the new Switch that just released, I decided to use that as an example. I downloaded the image and then I opened it here. You're going to want to click on this, and then click on what looks like a wand, then drag it until the background is red, and delete it. It's going to ask you to convert the image into a PNG, and you just click convert and voila! You just made a new PNG. You can also use this site if you want. After importing the image into your project, just drag it wherever you want it to go. Put it into picture in picture and don't forget to put dissolve at zero, and to make the image fit as iMovie put it in Kenbirds. From there, you can size it and place it wherever you want. I usually like to add the bottle cork sound effect, so the image pops up with a little sound. To do voiceovers, I use the Apple headphones with the mic as it does the job it needs to do. It works well and I haven't had any issues with it since I've started using them.
On iMovie, you're just going to want to click on the mic button here and then press the red button and the countdown will start. And then, all you have to do is record your voice. The next section is the music I use. There are two main sources where I get my music. The first one is thematic. All you have to do is make an account and then you have a variety of music to choose from. To use it, you choose a song and then download it. You just need to copy the link and give credits and you're good to go. The next one I use is YouTube Audio Library on YouTube Studio. Now I haven't seen as many people use this one, but if you search long enough, you can find great songs to use in your videos. Just make sure to click on the play button to see how to give credits. I'm going to show you guys how I make my MacBook, Apple Watch, and iPhone overlays. I decided to use the Apple Watch as an example. First, you're going to download the image you want. Then, you're going to open it like we did earlier to remove the background by clicking on the first button to edit and the second one that looks like a wand. You're then going to delete the background and then press on the wand again because this time we're removing the middle as well. Like so. And now you have an Apple Watch that you can use as a pop-up in your videos with a background you made or you can use it in your thumbnails. You do the same thing for the iPhone and MacBook. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is how to make multiple overlays. Now this one requires a lot of extra effort, but I feel like it's worth it as it makes your videos even better and unique. I'm going to show you guys by using the MacBook, Apple Watch, and iPhone overlays. First, you're going to want to make a new movie on iMovie. Then, you're going to import the background you want as well as the image or overlay. Mine will be the iPhone overlay. After that, you're going to save the video and create a new one on iMovie again. You're then going to import the video you just saved and this time you'll put the other overlay or image you want and save it again. Then you're going to create a new movie again and do what you just did once more. Which is why it requires extra effort. The end results are always awesome though. You can do this for green screens, text and images as well. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it super duper helpful and also that you found some tips and tricks that you might have not if known before that you can now use for your videos as well. So with that, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!